Welcome to our lesson on simplifying algebraic products and quotients. So when we simplify algebraic terms, we do not include a multiplication symbol because it can be confused with an X. We also do not write the division symbol. Instead, we write a fraction. So for instance, three times C, we write as three C. And three divided by C, we write as three over C. And we're going to use these two rules to simplify the expressions a to g. So we have 5 times r in question a. We do not include the multiplication, so this becomes 5r. In question b, we have 2 times 3 times t. We do this multiplication, which is 2 times 3 to make 6. And we don't include this times, which was right, 6t. So this simplifies to make 6t. And for question C, where we have 6 multiplied by A multiplied by G, we take out the multiplication symbol and we write 6AG. Do you want to try and simplify the expressions D to G? You can pause the video and resume it when you're ready. Okay, for question D, we do 4 times 12, which is 48, and that is 48D. For question E, 5h times 2hr, we have 5 times 2 to make 10, h times h is h squared, and we have the r term, so it is 10 h squared r. For question F, 12y multiplied by 12y squared, we have 12 times 12, which is 144, y times y squared, which is here, and you can see we have y multiplied by itself three times, so y to the power of three. And finally, for question g, we have 25c, and we write it as a fraction, so it is over 5c. We can do the division, 25 divided by 5, which is 5, and we can simplify by dividing both by c, and these will cancel. So we're left with 5. OK, let's try two more questions. So do you want to try and write an expression for the area of each of these rectangles? Remember that the area is a product of its length and its width. You can pause the video and resume it when you're ready. So for question H, the area is the length 7xy multiplied by the width 3y squared. Well, we have a 7 times a 3, which is 21. We have an x term. And a y multiplied by y squared, which is y times y. And you can see we have y to the power of 3. And finally, for question i, we have 5tg, which is the length, multiplied by the width of 4r. 5 times 4 is 20. tg multiplied by r, we write as t. G R. Okay, thank you very much for watching and I hope you found that useful. Thanks again and take care.